Hey guys, thanks for tuning in this afternoon to another one of our ludicrous feed videos. This afternoon I wanted to show you how you can install a Powerwall 2 in your house and not have solar panels. There is a bit of mathematics involved and a few calculations, but stick with us, we'll make it work for you. Here's how. Now before we begin, I just wanted to show you the app that comes with your Powerwall 2. Uh, it essentially tells you exactly what's happening with your Powerwall 2. Uh, how it's charging and what you're using in terms of electricity at this current time. So on the front screen you can see that uh, it is currently charging. Uh, if you go to power flow, you'll see that I'm getting one kilowatt currently from the sun and of which most of it's going to the house because I've got my pool pump running and some of it is charging to the power wall at the moment. You can also press on power flow and energy usage and you'll see that today I've received 9.4 kilowatt hours from the sun. You can see when the power wall discharged and charged. So currently it's uh, charged 5.4 kilowatt hours and 3.1 kilowatt hours have been used from the power wall. The grid, you can see how much I've used from the grid overnight. That is from my car. And I'll talk about that in a separate video because I use uh, AGL's $1 per day plan. So I'm not paying too much for that. You can have all four at once as well to give you a snapshot of what's happening currently today. So that's the energy usage part of the power wall too. I go back to the front screen and press the self-powered history. I can tell you that 21% uh, of my usage today has come from the power wall and the sun. Now this is the most interesting feature. So if I press customize here, now Tesla does not officially uh, have a uh, time of use or use or load shifting uh, function on the Powerwall 2. That essentially means um, charging your Powerwall 2 at off-peak times so that you can use it during peak hours. Uh, if you have a time of use plan, which we do have in New South Wales, uh, you will pay much less for your energy between the hours of 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. in the morning on weekdays at 16 and a half kilowatt cents per kilowatt hour versus uh, much higher at 59 to 60 cents per kilowatt hour at uh, peak times between 2 and 8 p.m. So there's two functions here. You can make your power wall to uh, go into backup only, which essentially means it will always charge to 100%. And you can also customize as to how much you want to charge your power wall to up to. So you can go up to anything between 0 and 100% in 1% increments, which is quite handy. So if I wanted to keep my power wall to always at 30%, I can. If I wanted to bring it all, all the way to 5%, I can, so that it always uses the power wall too. If I want to keep it on backup at all times, uh, it will always charge the power wall too, uh, regardless of whether the sun is doing it or not. So I'll come back to this feature, which will, which will be very handy when we talk about uh, time of use and using the power wall too without solar panels. The average Australian household uses 20 kilowatt hours per day. 50% of that usage occurs in the afternoon and evening, so when everyone is home and all the appliances are on for cooking, cleaning, all those kind of things. So that's 10 kilowatt hours in a day that's being charged at the highest tariff uh, when electricity is at its most expensive. AGL charges about 55 cents per kilowatt hour during this time. If you were to use your Powerwall 2 to charge overnight, you'll be paying 15 cents per kilowatt hour. If you then use this electricity which you have uh, charged overnight to use during the day, you will save 40 cents per kilowatt hour. So simply put, if you were, if you were to use 10 kilowatt hours per day during that peak period, at 365 days in a year, you will use 3,650 kilowatt hours during that expensive period. If you save uh, that much energy at 40 cents per kilowatt hour times 3,650, you will save in one year $1,460. Now the average price of a Powerwall 2 in Australia is currently priced at $10,000. So if you save $1,460 per year, that will equate to about 6.8 years uh, and that will that is the amount of time it will take for you to pay back your power wall. That number is actually less than the eight years quoted by most people 
uh, it would take to pay back their power wall too with the use of solar panels charging their, uh, their electricity during the day. So after 6.8 years, any saving you uh, accrue is, is a bonus and you can do with that money, use that money to possibly buy some solar panels so that your charging is now free as opposed to paying 16 and a half cents or 15 cents per kilowatt hour uh, off peak. So there you have it. If you use this method, that's, uh, that's the calculation. And I uh, hope that's uh, helped clarify a few things with regards to Powerwall 2 and how you can use that uh, without, with or without um, solar panels to charge uh, the Powerwall 2. Alright, well thanks very much for watching and wherever you are in this world, hope you've had a great day and as always, happy charging. Hey, thanks for watching and thank you for helping us to bring the electric vehicle revolution to Australia. If you've enjoyed our videos, please take a moment to hit subscribe, we would really appreciate it. If you're close to buying a brand new Tesla, then lucky you. Use one of our promo codes on screen to unlock special goodies from Tesla. Happy charging!